hi you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to bookish ramblings today's video is the winter essentials book tag i was tagged to do this a year ago by reese from the writing songbird but it was too late for me to like film it and everything so i decided to just save it for this year so here we are prompt number one is crackling fire who is your favorite cold character who warmed up towards the end? I'm gonna have to say Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. Classic answer, but yeah, Mr. Darcy really rubbed me the wrong way when I started this book. And then I just kept reading and I was like, you know what? He's actually, he's not so bad. I actually, I see the hype around him. I really do. So number two, Snowflakes. What is a book that was full of unique characters? I'm going to say the Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. Um, Skyward book one had a lot of unique characters, but every book that I have read in the series has unique characters. Just when you think there can't be any more good characters. Brandon Sanderson does it again. Such a great series. Um, some of my favorite characters ever. So yeah. Gingerbread family. Which fictional family would you want to be a part of? I'm gonna say the Clark family from the Love Comes Softly series by Jeanette Oak. I do have a physical copy of the book but it's kind of in a complicated spot right now and I just didn't feel like messing with it so we're putting a picture up on the screen. But yeah I'm gonna have to say the Clark family. Marty and No, the Davis family? Is his name Clark Davis? Hold on, let me look this up really quick. The Davis family. Okay, his name is Clark. Last name is Davis. I would want to be part of the Davis family. Marty and Clark, they, through a marriage of convenience, they get together. They end up falling in love. They end up, like, adopting some kids, having some kids together. He had a kid from a previous marriage. She has a kid from a previous marriage. There is just, like, a lot of kids. I forget how many kids there are by the end. There's, like, ten of them or something. They're just a good, sweet, wholesome family. And you know, when I read the books and they're all, like, together for, like, Christmas and the holidays, it just, like, warms my heart. And so, yeah, I would love to be a part of their family. Adopt me. I can have two families. Cool! Now I have two moms. Number four, Blizzard. What is a book that you confused, that had you confused the whole time? The Silmarillion by Tolkien had me confused off and on throughout the entire book. There were parts here and there that just went over my head or I just kind of like zoned out while I was reading and I didn't really get anything out of it. Characters had like multiple names for each character and they would switch which name they were using for that character throughout the book and so I would just not know who they were talking about. A character that might have been mentioned like a while ago would be brought back up and I couldn't remember by the time we got to it. I couldn't remember if that was a character we already knew and had already been doing things or if it was someone new. So yeah, this one is just like, it was a, a lot of confusion. <laughs> Number five, gift giving. What is the last book that was gifted to you? So actually, I had three books gifted to me at the same time just a few days ago by my just sweet, lovely friend Kara. The Lost Boys of Barley Theater <laughs> by David J. Wright. The Plot Twist by, or Plot Twist by Bethany Turner. I've wanted to read this for so long. And When the Day Comes by Gabrielle Meyer. I am so excited for all three of these books. You guys have no idea. I've been talking about these two especially for a really long time. Y'all probably haven't heard me talk about Plot Twist as much, but it has been on my TBR for a while. It just sounds really cute. It's a Christian contemporary romance. I'm super excited. It has a very cute cover. All of these books have been on my TBR for ages. Well, The Lost Boys, it's a new release, but like I've been anticipating it ever since I heard of it. And it just came out recently and I am so excited to own it. I'm so excited about all these books. Number six, Snowball. What is the biggest book you've ever read? Well, I was looking back through my Goodreads and as far as I can tell, um, the longest book I've ever read or one of the longest I've ever read is Across the Face of the Earth by Russell Kirkpatrick. I think that's the name. I used to own this book. I just like picked up this trilogy just at Goodwill one time like years ago and I read the first two books and they're just like really chunky books and they're just like kind of slow. It's almost like reading like Lord of the Rings or something. Not like as good as Lord of the Rings but like just kind of like the pacing I guess and maybe like the writing style a little bit kind of like reminds you of Lord of the Rings. The third book I just kind of like skimmed through it because I kind of like lost interest at that point but apparently 
the first book, Across the Face of the Earth, was like 701 pages or something like that. And according to Goodreads, that's like one of the longest books that I've read. So yeah, pretty long. I'm not even sure why I read the second book because I only gave the first book like three stars and it was like super long. Anyways, number seven, wrapping paper. What is your most beat up book? As far as I can tell, God Smuggler is my most beat up book. It's mostly just like the dust jacket. The book itself isn't too bad, um, but the dust jacket is in pretty rough shape. It's really like torn and it has like stains on it, <laughs> mysterious stains. I got this at a thrift store like a few years ago. It's been through a lot. The pages themselves are kind of yellowed. The corner of the book is stained also. I'm gonna say these are coffee stains. Mm, actually, I don't, I don't really know what that is, but. It's in pretty rough shape, but I rescued it from the thrift store and I'm so glad that I did. It's one of my favorite books. Number eight is Christmas Lights. What is a book you own that has many colors on the cover? Radiant by Ashley Bustamante. This is book two in the Color Theory series and this cover has like pink, red, blue, green, yellow. Yeah, so it has a lot of colors. I don't really have a lot of like multicolored covers actually number nine ice skating what is a book that had a plot that was all over the place i want to bring back the similar really in for this one because this book the plot there was no plot like it's called the similar really in, so you would think that the the main plot and storyline of the book would be about the similar really in, but it really wasn't really that much about the Silmarillion. Really in some of it is just like not really sure what the point of telling me this story was but okay and there's like a thousand characters in this book so number 10 christmas tree who is your favorite character of all time well i have a lot but my most recent favorite character of all time has to be mbot from the skyward series he is so great he is an ai and he is so funny he's just lovable number 11 the star What's a book you look forward to rereading each year? I'm not positive if I read this every year, but I'm kind of thinking I do end up reading this book every year. Half-Blood by J.L. Knight. It's a novella you guys, I talk about it all the time. It was in, like, I read it this year. I'm sure I'll read it again next year. I would love to reread, like, any of the books in the series, but those are, like, a bigger time commitment. They're bigger books, and so this one is just an easy one when I'm wanting to get back into this world when I'm wanting to revisit the characters. This one is my go-to because it is so short and easy to read and it's about Jace who is like my favorite character so pretty sure I read it every year. And then the last prompt number 12 is Snowball Fight. Tag five people. I'm gonna tag Nikki from Writing for Jesus. I'm gonna tag Stacy from Wondering with Stacy. I'm gonna tag T from Faith Books Coffee. I'm gonna tag Tay from Tales and Treats with Tay. And I'm gonna tag Emily from Quietly Emily. That's five. So again, this tag was going around last year, so I'm not sure who's done it and who hasn't. So if you have done it, disregard my tag. But if you haven't, I'd love to see you do it if you want and if it's not too late by the time I get this video out and you have time to do it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you don't have a channel, maybe you can answer the questions in the comments below. I would love to see your answers. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I'll see you in the next Bookish Ramblings video. Bye.